All right, right now, I'm going to talk to you about the last date that I was on, a question that was asked, and what inspired me to make this video because of the question that was asked. So, this recent date that I was on, it was very surprising. In many ways, definitely can't talk about it on here, but just very surprising in many ways. And during the date, we asked a question that I want to talk about here. And it's one of my favorite questions to ask on a date. And it's, what is one thing about like a man, if you're talking to the woman, what is one thing about a man that usually attracts you to that person? And of course she answered and then she asked me, what's the one thing about a woman that she can do that would attract me to her, you, usually? And I love this question because I love the answer. And it, the answer shows so much of my past. Because the answer is completely undivided attention. Completely undivided attention mixed with intense curiosity. When a woman shows me undivided attention, that the attention can only break if a legitimately bomb went off, like her eyes are completely glued to me. The, the only way this attention would break is if a legitimately bomb, bomb went off, like people speaking, people walking by, people being close, car alarms, like nothing phases her attention she's giving me. This is what usually attracts me the most. This is what makes me feel the most seen. And I think the reason why that I, after a lot of my digging as a person who stutters, why this attracts me so much, why it makes me just, mm, I, I like this girl now, is because of my past. And it's because I, for the first 18 years of my life, I always thought I was unworthy of people's attention. I always thought I would bore the fuck out of people or they wouldn't want to listen to me or I'd make people feel uncomfortable. And because I had this belief system, that's usually what I made them do. Because I was uncomfortable and unsure of myself that of course I couldn't make another person feel comfortable if I was uncomfortable. And I had this belief system that when people would get to know me, they wouldn't like me. Or maybe not when they could get to know me, like I wouldn't even allow them to get to know me because I just thought I was boring, I thought I was lame. I thought I wasn't worthy of their attention. And if you're a person who stutters and that resonates with you, well, welcome, welcome family. Um, quick introduction, midway through, I'm Chase Gillis. If you don't know who I am, I help people overcome stuttering the same way I did by addressing the real root issues of the fear, anxiety, and doubt that gets in the way from you expressing yourself naturally how you know you could be doing. So, like in a room by yourself. So I told her, complete undivided attention. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up was because I, I understand you. I'm also a person who stutters and I've been in your shoes, if you're in a spot right now where you feel unworthy, where you feel like people don't wanna to listen to you, where you feel like you're boring the fuck out of people. I've been in your shoes and I know how painful it can be. And the, the reason why, again, I'm sharing this is because I want you to understand I'm with you and I understand your pain and I hope this is my hope I hope that once you understand that I understand you I understand where you are I understand how you don't feel like you're how you don't feel like you are understood by most people I I understand maybe by everybody I understand I understand you I promise you I I, I understand you so, if you, under, if you trust me that I understand you, I also want you to trust me that 
I know how to get out of that. I know because I've done the exact, I've been through the exact same process that would help you so, so much. And I'm telling this to you as a friend that until you deal with the root issues of caring too much about what other people think of you, completely being shitly scared of rejection and not wanting to look stupid, not wanting to look, not wanting to be embarrassed. Until you deal with those, with the overvaluation you give other people's opinions of you, you will not grow. This is the fundamental thing that gives you tension. This is the fundamental thing that stores tension in your body and makes you so tense that you will continue to stutter and stutter and stutter and no longer hit that effortless flow. Because stuttering is due to tension and the main reason why there's tension in your body is because you are caring so much about what other people think of you. That's it, facts, that's it, done. And then you would also have to address the, the traumas you have in the past and the beliefs you're holding on to about your capabilities and what your um, self, like what, what type of people would be able to connect with you and what you feel you deserve. Of course, there's beliefs that you would have to change, but so much of that changes when you start healing the process of learning to fuel your own self-worth from the inside and not from external sources like other people's fucking opinions so i'm making this video right now to share a dating question that i absolutely love and to tell you i understand you and if you trust me that i understand you and you trust me that i have your best intentions which <laughs> if you don't fuck you because this is my life purpose my life purpose is to help people who stutter overcome it the same way I did. It doesn't have to be the same way I did. Just overcome it authentically so that you're showing your true fucking self. And if you're interested to hear more about how I can help you, and if you're interested to learn more about the process that I go through, that I went through, and what you would have to do in order to overcome your stutter and speak authentically, and just overall see if you would be a good fit for the program for my coaching then you can look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me we'll hop on a call and see if we would be a good fit to work together closest link down below in the description it takes three minutes all right you can change your life i love you all right from buenos aires argentina